After becoming familiar with the schematic design wizard, the next step is to become familiar with the design development wizard, which takes it up a notch. So, if we create a new project via the wizard, we can select OK and select Design Development Wizard or DD Wizard. Initially, the Project and Site data screen will pop up. In this case, we now only have seven screens to go through. And, in fact, it will be less than that since it is unlikely that we'll go through all the screens. There's nothing really new here from the SD Wizard, so we'll continue and continue, and that's it. We're not going to enter any custom data here since we're trying to get through this as smoothly as possible without boring you to death. So if we click continue, it takes us to what's called the Project Navigator. Here, we can launch a number of different wizards or different screen sets. So we have a shell, a system, we could edit it, edit the system, or create new shells and create new systems. See, in the design development wizard, we can now have multiple shells. We just finished the project site utility, so 